Hi, I want to show you how to compare year-over-year -year data in Excel for the same days in both years. This is my data set. I have a date column here and some measures like cost and revenue that I want to see how the performance compares year-over-year. Today is 22nd of February 2023, the day that I'm recording this video. So I want to see, I want to compare the data from 1st of January 2023 to 22nd of February, which is today, to the same days of last year. First, let's see what problem I will have when I compare year over year data in pivot table. I'm going to create a pivot table quickly. So I move my date field to the rows and let me ungroup that and group just to days, months and years. For now I'm moving day out and I'm adding costs and revenue as values. Let me change their format to currency. So because right now we are in February 2023, I want to compare year over year data. So first, uh, let me uncheck other months of the year, only January and February. This gives me year over year data comparison, but the issue is that uh, as you see, when I move date to the rows, for the last year, I have complete data for February, from 1st of February to 28th of February, 2022. But for this year, because we haven't finished February 2023, we are on 22nd, so the comparison is not accurate for February. It's not. Uh, for the same days in the both years, I can uh, uh, filter my days, go and uncheck from 22nd, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28th of February. So my comparison becomes accurate, but this is time consuming. This is not efficient if you want to do this comparison every day or every week a lot of times and there is a problem you know there is this possibility that you uncheck by mistake you have to repeat your process so this is not very efficient way for me let me remove everything to make it day by day i need to add a column to my data set I am going to call uh, the, this new column year over year. There is this formula that you can use equal months. You convert your day column, your date column to months times by 100 plus you select your the day for your column, your date column, less than or equal to the months for today, today's date, which is months today, again times 100 plus date of today i'm dragging the formula to the bottom of my data set now this only gives me false or true true this formula uh, for the ones that uh, the value is true 
it says that they are in my date range in, in, they are in my year over year date range and the ones that are false they are not in my range now let's use this new column in pivot table going back to my pivot table changing my data source to include the new column that I use column H my year over year column the new field that I just created I added it to filters and I select it as true because I want to compare the date range for the same date range for this year and last year year over year data now moving day to the rows again grouping days months and year that is correct now for the january we didn't have any issue because we already have finished january 2023 for february as you see for the last year it just includes the days from 1st of february to the 22nd of february the same days as the same dates of february in this year because right now we are in the 22nd of 20 february 2023 so for the last year it doesn't include the whole february months anymore it just includes the data for the first until the same date for february last year or whatever date we are this year for example if we are 22nd march it will compare it to first to 22nd of march 2022 now this is a an accurate year over year comparison for the same days it makes me to understand the data better how the performance has changed this year compared to the last year to uh, in the same day same dates but i understand that sometimes uh, a lot of times actually when you are looking at the data today you are looking the data until yesterday because today is not finished yet you don't have the complete data for today today is 22nd of february 2023 for me I don't have I might not have data for 22nd of February in my data set so I need to compare data year over year data until yesterday for last year it should be January uh, 1st of January 2022 to 21st uh, 1st of February 2022 to the same dates this year for that, I need to make a small change in my formula in the column that I just created. I, I, I'm just going to create a new column for that. Year over year two. So this is until uh, this formula I wanted to be until to sh compare data from the beginning of this year until yesterday's data because I might not have the complete data for today I just copy the formula and here after the first day day b2 I add plus one again it's the same concept false and true true are the dates the date range that I want to include in my year over year data let's check it in pivot table again I need to add the new column to my range column I this time year over year 2 I add the new column to my filter let me remove the previous filter for year over year now year over year two uh, I set the filter as true now my date my year over year comparison must be should be from the beginning of this year until yesterday's date let's check I'm moving months and day to rows okay let's check for 2022 we have the complete months as it makes sense 
for February we 2022 we have data from 1st of February to 21st of February now for 2023 again the same thing the complete months in January and for February 1st of February until 21st of February 2023 which is yesterday's data I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments.